viable um, solution. Oh, oh. oh. one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 tell me about, is this Marcel? Yeah. yeah. Tell, tell me about Marcel. Me? Okay, two years ago, two years ago, I used to see him at the club, and I used to think he was really cute, you know? And he, like he was walking, he was all nice, and once he got hit by a car, and then, since then, he almost died, and he went into coma and all this, and then all his friends came to see him, and when his, when his friend came to see him, uh, he started to talk, and then he started to talk, and then he started to move, and soon he's gonna walk. Because, like, he's got willpower. He wants to walk again. He almost died, he was in coma, he couldn't even speak. And now look at him. He can move his hand, he can talk, he can go nuts and all this. He can even have a hard dome. Is that true, Marcel? That's yeah. true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I used to go and beg and snatch purses and beat up faggots with some friends of mine to get some money to go eat or get stone, you know, and uh, I like it better. I wouldn't like to be rich because I'm happy on the street, because on the street I am myself. When I wanted a place to stay, I go in a, in a club where stupid cunts go there and I go see a harmless people, like go see for harmless people and then I say to them, Oh, I have no money, nothing to eat and stuff like this. And then they feel sorry for me and then they make me eat. And then after a week, they make me eat and they give me a place to stay and then they want to screw and then I tell them to fuck off. And then I go for somebody else, always like this, always find my way. I am scared of people because people are scared of me because they think I'm gonna beat them up. I'm not gonna beat them up. What do your parents think of all this? Oh my, they just don't like me anymore. Because I used to be another person years ago. I used to be the nicest person you ever met. I used to be good at school and all that stupid stuff, but I found out by myself that it was not right for me, that even if I was good enough for school and all this, I did enough to go and show up good notes and all this. What made you change? It's just that I was tired of doing what people wanted me to do. I just wanted to do something I could figure out myself. I do not want to harm nobody. I want them to live in peace and to make me live in peace. I am gonna die in about in two years. So I want everybody to come and see me at the funeral. You're gonna die in two years? Yeah, two years. Why? Because life is not amusement for me. I do not like to live in this kind of life. Well, this is kind of like the worst it's been getting on the tour. I mean, the last couple of days we've been breaking down and it's like starting to get really bad in, this, in, in Montreal. I mean, the weather's pretty bad. We've been running out of money. We've been having the bus has been breaking down. We've been having to spend money fixing up the bus and things are getting kind of fucked. Everyone's starting to complain and, and grumble about not getting enough money. We haven't been getting paid at all the gigs like tonight. We haven't been getting didn't get paid all our money and then I don't know it's just it seems like things are just kind of starting to fall apart
And then to top it all off, we go to this, these guys who put the show on. We said we were hungry and wanted to go get something to eat. So they take us to this taxi joint that says open. It's like 3 in the morning. We go in there. And this, this lady, this French lady, this old, ugly lady, wouldn't serve us. She wouldn't even speak to us in English. And we knew she could speak English. We knew she understood what, she, what we were saying. And then she calls the cops on us, and the cops come and kick us out. We didn't do anything. All we wanted to do was buy some food. They wouldn't even let us eat. It was totally ridiculous. She's crazy. She's, I guess she's afraid of us. She thinks we're, we're going to come in there to fuck with her or something. That's just the way people, it's a, it's a normal reaction to a lot of straight people who have never seen punks before. They just think you're there to fuck with them or to intimidate them or something, you know. And, a bunch of kids come in, they're kind of noisy and stuff, maybe she gets scared, but we, all we wanted was to eat something. She wouldn't even give us a cup of coffee or, or anything like that. It was totally ridiculous. Come on, boys. The money situation started to get pretty down, and people are starting to get on each other's nerves. This money makes a big difference, I guess, which is a pretty sick thing to think about, but unfortunately it's true. When you're hungry and you don't have any money, the best things don't look as great as they did before. What about like, unity? What about unity? If you're hungry, nobody's unified. <laughs> you know, if you got nothing to eat, there's nothing to be uni unified about. You can't, can't be fed on unity.